this video lesson is about determining the missing terms in a sequence of numbers. To determine the missing number in a given sequence, find out if what pattern it used. So these are the examples of pattern uh, uses to determine the missing number in a given sequence. So these are the multiples of a number, add or even numbers, and fundamental operations, which is the multiplications, division, addition, and subtraction. So I have many examples for this so that you can understand the lesson. So my first sequence is 5, 10, 15, and 20. Can you guess what are the two next number in the sequence? That's right, as 25 and 30. So the sequence for this example is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So the patterns used is multiples of 5 or addition by 5. Let's try another example. So the second sequence, 60, 54, 48. Can you guess what are the two next numbers on this sequence? These are the two next number. So the 42 and 36. So the sequence for this example is 60, 54, 48, 42 and 36 and the pattern use is subtraction by 6 next 1 2 4 8 16 can you guess what are the two next number that's right it's 32 and 64 so the sequence for this example is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. So the pattern used is multiplication by 2. So if you multiply 1 multiplied by 2, it will give you a 2. And 2 multiplied by 2, it will give you a 4. So that 16, if you multiply it by 2, it will give you a 32. And 32 multiplied by 2, it will give you a 64. So that the pattern for the sequence is multiplication by 2. Next example. 1, 3, 5, 7. Can you guess the two next number? That's right, 9 and 11. So the sequence is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. Can you guess what are the patterns used in this sequence? It can be addition by 2 or add numbers. Let's try another. 55, 60, 65, blank, 75, and the two next number. So what do you think are the three missing numbers? That's right. If you add, uh, the pattern for this sequence is addition by 5. So if you add 5, on 65 it will give you a 70 so the next number for the 65 is 70 and 70 plus 5 it will give you a 75 and the next for 75 is 80 and the last number is 80 so let's try another 100 990 80 and the three missing number and the last number is 40. 
can you guess what is the pattern used in this sequence? That's right, it's subtraction by 10. So the next number by the next number in 80 is 70. Because 80 subtract by 10, it will give you a 70. So the next number for 70 is 60. And the next number for 60 is 50. So that you come off with the 40 on the last number. It's activity time. So this is the time that may I know if you turn on my samples. So let's try. So I have a sequence 12, 24, 48, 96. Can you guess what is the three next numbers on the sequence? And can you guess what pattern that I'm used in this sequence? Okay, the next three numbers is 192, 384, and 768. So how we come up with these answers? So the pattern that used in the sequence is multiplication by 2. So 96, if you multiply it by 2, it will give you a 192. And 192 multiplied by 2, it will give you a 384. And so on and so forth. So let's try an example for your next activity. So I have a sequence of 20. 22, 24, 26, and 28. Can you guess the three missing number or the three next missing numbers on the sequence? Wow, great job. It's 30, 32, and 34. And the pattern used on the sequence is addition by 2. Next, for your third activity, 10, 12, 14. What are the three missing numbers or the three next missing number on the sequence? Very good. It's 16, 18, and 20. And the pattern is multiples of 2 or addition by 2. Next to the last, 53, 55, 57, 59. So what do you think is the three next missing numbers on the sequence? That's right, it's 61, 63, and 65. So, how you come up with that answers? So, the pattern used is addition by 2. That's all.